Hello guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to set up Marquee and use it in our website project. Now to show you what I mean, I'm just going to open my browser and when you come to dabsonishmail.com, when you scroll to the very bottom of the page, you realize we have a Marquee here which is displaying or showing some kind of test information here. Now let's see how best we can configure or set up this in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So to identify the marquee, I'm supposed to come to my toolbox and then when I come to my standard set of tools, I have it right here. Now I'll click on it and then I'm going to draw in here. Now when, let me just move, reposition this and then I'm going to double click and this. Now when you double click and this, we have a couple of sections here. We have the test section as well as we have the configuration aspect. Now I'm supposed to populate this with some kind of useful information I'd wanted to show when I preview this page. Now to do that, let me just come to my toolbox, bring the test to, and then I'm just going to populate this with some kind of information. So I'm going to populate this with about, let's say 25 words. That's okay enough. I'll copy this. Let me now get rid of it. And then I'll double click on this. Now I'm going to paste that here. Let me get rid of the last piece I have down there. And let me just, I think this is okay. This is fair enough. And then what I'm going to do is to set up the color as well as change uh, some properties of this. Now, first of all, I'm going to highlight over all the tests I have in here. And then I'm going to change the size to about 11 pixels. Um, the font uh, type is OK. And then I'm going to change this to maybe red. Red is OK. And then I'm going to make this bold. And yeah, I can even go ahead and link this as well. If I want to link this to something, um, a link, I can go ahead and do that. And I'm going to leave this as a test now. I can also insert a symbol if I want to. I'm going to leave this right here. And then I'm going to go to the style. Another style, the background, I'll leave this to either transparent or white. Now let me just change this to transparent. And then I'm going to get rid of the border. So I'm going to change this to zero. And then I'll come back to my general. Now I'm done with the styles aspect of it. I'm supposed to take a look at how I want this to behave. Now when I come to the direction aspect, um, in which direction would I prefer this to move? So I want this to move in the left direction. And then the behavior, would I want it to scroll, slide, or alt alternate? So I'll probably go in for scroll. I want it to scroll to the left-hand side. And then the delay, how long do I want this to be moving? I'm going to stick to the 90 I have in here. And then the loop, so um, do I want this to move continuously? So by default, we have an example here it says zero means continuously. So I wouldn't want to change this because I want this to keep on moving every now and then. Now there's one aspect which I have here. Let me just change the alignment to left. And then when I look at the right hand side, it says pause scrolling on mouse over. So this is very important. I'll check this. This what this is going to do is whilst the test is moving and I put my cursor on it, it is going to stop for me to be able to read what information I have in there. Now the amount, I'm going to leave this to six and then I'm done setting it up. All I have to do is let me just um, expand this a little bit because this, I think the test is too much, can't contain everything. Let me just come back here and then get rid of some from it. So let me just start from here. I think the board is uh, making it too big. So let me just bring it back to its normal state. And then I think this is okay. Let me reduce the size. Uh, that is the height of this a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead to, I can even close this up a bit. And then let me just leave it here. I'm going to go ahead to preview this in my browser and see how it's going to be like. So let me just um, select my default browser. And as you can see, we have that there. So this is actually loading when I put my cursor on it. It stops for me to read what is there. And I, like I said, you can actually link it. So let's come back and see how best we can link this. So I'm going to double click on this. And then I'm going to, let's say, link this. I'll come to my link. And then I'm going to link this to an external website. So this is just going to be dapsinishmail.com. And then that's it. If I want to style this particular and change the behavior of the link, that's if I wanted to open in a new browser window. I can do that as well as if I want to change the style, I can do that. I don't have any style created. I'll just go ahead and hit an OK, hit an OK. Now let's go ahead and preview this again. And as you can see, we have our marker showing. All I have to do is um, when I get to the link section, I'm going to hover my cursor over it. And then I'm going to click on the link and it's going to show in a new browser window. And as you can see, I have the website showing here. So that is how to use the marker in Wizard Web Builder. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.